Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2024, okay. I would like to start off by congratulating all of you for successfully making it to this achievement today. I'm sure your high school graduation was not what you had imagined, and most likely, neither was your first couple years of college. By making it to this moment through all the adversity thrown your way from COVID, I hope you learned the important lessons that suffering in this life is only temporary. Mm -hmm. As a group, you witnessed firsthand how bad leaders who don't stay in their lane can have a negative impact on society. It is through this lens that I want to take stock of how we got to where we are and where we want to go okay. as citizens and, yes, as Catholics. For the ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. Thank you. You should be proud of all <laughs> that you have achieved to this point in your young mm -hmm. lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you the women who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Okay. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. Really? I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school mm. would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, Homemaker. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God. Okay. She's the primary educator to our children. She's the one who ensures I never let football or my business become a distraction from that of a husband and father. She is the person that knows me best at my core, and it is through our marriage that, Lord willing, we will both attain salvation. I say all of this to you because I have seen it firsthand how much happier someone can be when they disregard the outside noise and move closer and closer to God's will in their life. Isabel's dream of having a career might not have come true, but if you ask her today if she has any regrets on her decision, she would laugh out loud without hesitation and say, heck no. As a man who gets a lot of praise and has been given a platform to speak to audience like, audiences like this one today, I pray that I always use my voice for God and not for myself. Everything I am saying to you is not from a place of wisdom, but rather a place of experience. I am hopeful that these words will be seen as those from a man not much older than you who feels it is imperative that this class, this generation, and this time in our society must stop pretending that the things we see around us are normal. It is around this mark <laughs> that I can see even right here most replayed. And when it has to do with women being homemakers or pursuing their careers you know it's it's kind of gets a little bit dicey because everyone is entitled to what they think i've had women who married and i'm not married first of all let's start from there right and so i've had friends and colleagues who you know, I've gotten married and has gone on to do great things, amazing things in their career. You know, he say that it is from a place of experience. This is what he experienced. This is what is happening to his wife, Isabel, in this case. You know, though she didn't pursue a career, right? But she still doesn't regret it. Now, it is different for different people. I've had people who were married and they tell me, Clevy, the stress of motherhood and everything, yo, yo, they wish they didn't get married. You know, they wish they got married whilst, you know, their career was ongoing and not before. 
you know so it, it is really different for different people you guys what's your own take honestly to me as a woman as a person and as a girl who always had dreams and ambitions and goals i always say this i will get married but that will not stop my pursuit of my own vocation it would not stop it will not stop a lot of people on this channel know that you know i shared it some time ago um during a time like this you know i was the best graduating student but valentine of my set you know you name it this is the person talking to you right now and so i what i say that I will, marriage will not stop nothing for me. I will still get married. I will have my kids. I will still pursue my career to the highest form. God helping me, I have a supportive partner. I know it differs for a lot of people. I know. I know. I know it differs. I've had friends who got married and i mean i've had friends who got married as a high schooler and high school graduates and now they are masters and phd holders in their husband's house all right i've still had people who married as you know as a high school graduate and has remained to that Honestly, it differs. It really does differ from women to women. Um, you can be, you, I, I am of the opinion that you can have it all. You can have a successful career and still be an amazing mother and be, and be a loving wife to your husband. You can have it all. That's my own. That's my own intake on this. I can see that this is the point that has been sparking a lot of conversations. And let me know, what do you think in the comment section? What do you think in the comment section? You know, I've had women who go into marriages and give their all to their husbands. And at the end of the day, the marriage ends and they feel like they wasted a lot of their lives you know, putting in work into somewhere, whereas they should have been doing that into their own life. Yo, it's, 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 it's a very broad topic. It's something that I know that... Oh, God, I don't even want to give... This video is long as it is. You know, I have a lot of things. If I want to give real-life stories and everything, it will take a while. You know, this video is going to run to two hours or more. You know, I know it's it's different for different people. I am of the opinion that you can have it all. You can have it all. Yes, you can. You are as important. You are as important as the next human being you are pouring into. Don't you forget that. You are also important. So yes. As usual, the video starts in the comment section. You will find me there. Bye, guys.